Sean Callahan here. We're in uh, Boca Raton, Florida at the uh, Florida Atlantic Adidas Satellite Camp. Nebraska secondary coach Travis Fisher joining us here. First of all, it's got to be fun for you to be back in Florida, seeing a lot of guys you know. This is kind of your stomping grounds. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's good to be back. Um, obviously, a lot of these kids around here, we've been knowing a lot of them since they were freshmen. Um, you know, even some of them, eighth grade, middle school. But it's good to be back around these kids and get to recruiting. When you just look at this pure DB talent, is there a better area in the country than the Miami, Florida area? Uh, I, I, I don't want to say it's not a better place, but Miami, Florida is, is very, it's the hotbed um, um, in recruiting. And I think it's very important that we stay down there for number one and that we do a good job down there. And still, and, you know, we have a great relationship with the coaches, the high school coaches down there in Miami. Um, obviously, it's plenty of kids. The 2020 class, 2021 class, it's loaded. Yeah, for you guys, just being at FAU, FIU all day here, with you know, you're going to get a chance to see potentially 2,000 kids. How beneficial is that to see that many kids, knowing it's pretty hard to get a lot of these kids even to get to a camp outside of Miami? Well, uh, we've been having doing doing some, some satellite camps, and um, you know, we did a couple at Lindenwood, and then and then moved on down to Georgia at Kennesaw State. There was some bunch of kids um, in those areas too. Um, obviously, the, the ones down here, um, the one we're at right now, the FAU camp and the FIU camp later on, later on today, it's very important that we get down here. It's a lot of speed down here, a lot of uh, skill position kids down here. And then we did, saw, uh, we did see a couple kids down here uh, today um, with great size. Yeah, I want to ask you about, you mentioned Lindenwood. St. Louis is kind of an area that you've really gotten involved in as well. Um, how big is it for Nebraska to to kind of beat that door down and get into St. Louis and try to get some of those top kids? Yeah, when we were recruiting, I always say when we were recruiting, when we were um, coaching over, you know, over at UCF, it was very important that we made Miami, Florida, um, a hot, you know, where we wanted to lay out I, I nest in and, and recruit big time. And I think being in Nebraska in the Midwest, I think St. Louis is that area. That's your Miami. Yeah, that's that's your, that's our Miami. And I think it's very important that those that we get those mid, those kids out of St. Louis area because to be honest with you, that area is kind of, it, no, one, no, no, no one owns it. No one owns it. And, and I think it's very important that Nebraska, um, you know, this logo, uh, it, it means a lot. You guys and uh, yourself, Troy Walters. I mean, Greg Austin. A number of you guys seem like you're involved down there. Yeah, yeah. All of us, uh, all of us had a ch had, had a little snippet down there and um, doing a good job with the coaches and getting back familiar with some of the faces that um, you know used to seeing in St. Louis. I wanted to ask you too about your run at Central Florida. Just being back around here, how much do people still talk to you about what you guys did, and how much credibility? Does that give this staff when they come back in this state? Well, these kids know us. These kids know us down here, and they want to be a part of that the deal at UCF. Mostly, all of these kids uh, came to our camps um, over over a couple years, so they know our whole staff. When they see us, they come running up. They know us, so it's it's very important, and I'm glad that we have that relationship with these kids down here. I got to ask you a little bit about the, the current guys on the Husker roster. Um, you guys are obviously still looking maybe at some different late additions for the roster. Uh, kind of what's your thought process on the type of guys if you add more players that you want to add to this team? Well, we want to we want to add we want to add um, um, skill. I know, especially in the back end, the secondary. Um, I speak for my position. You know, we really want to get the, uh, some guys that can really play, move around, get tough guys, guys that love football, and I think that's very important. Whether they come from Florida or whether they come from anywhere in the country, those guys need to, are going to be able to love football. They're going to love football, um, and they're going to be tough. Well, Coach, it's good seeing you down here in Miami, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you back in Lincoln. Appreciate it. Thank you.